Welcome to Revision Lectures for Mathematics for FYB Com students. So today what I am going to discuss is about uh, something called as Lagrange Interpolation Formula. So Lagrange's Interpolation Formula is I will first uh, write the format of the problem. So the for Lagrange interpolation formula, we will need x and we will need fx. This is a function. The values of x are a, b, c, and d. Corresponding values of fx will be f of a, f of b, f of c, and f of d. Now whatever this means, this right now we will not go into the details of what this actually means. We will first try to understand the formula in simple words. So what I will do is I will take a number x0 which uh, is some value between the numbers a and d. Okay, so x0 lies somewhere between a and d, and then you have b and c also somewhere. So x0 is somewhere lying between a and d. For that corresponding, we will uh, write the table of fx. You see, x0 is between a and d. Now let us write what is x, a, b, x0, c and d. So here you have fx which is f of a, f of b, f of c, f of d and here I will write f of x0 which I actually want to find. So this will be our question. So I have to find that f of x naught. So that will be a question mark. So I'm now going to teach you how to write this formula of f of x naught. It is slightly big, but very simple once the logic is understood. So this is a complete table I have in front of my eyes. So I will write now f of x naught is equal to now i will use that f of a f of b f of c and f of d there are four people so i will use only three brackets f of a f of b f of c and f of d i will use them and i will prepare the structure first i will fill them accordingly in the structure this was the original problem so i will write f of a f of b f of c f of d as in the video f of a f of b f of c and f of d now i want to find this values at x naught so i will have to fill that x naught everywhere now in the numerators so i will write this x naught in numerator of all the four terms x naught minus x naught minus numerator of the second term x naught minus x naught minus everywhere and third also x naught minus x naught minus x naught minus x naught minus then in the nextly i have in the first row in the first line i have it is related to a so i have other three other things are b c d so i will not write a there but i will write b c d there so i'll write here b c and d second line is about b so i will not write b so i will write a c and d 
third line is about C so I will write A B and D and the last line D is not there so I will not I will write A B and C now coming to the denominators so in denominator also is again I have is about A the first line is about A so I will write uh, a minus a minus a minus the second line i will write b minus b minus b minus because it's related to b c minus c minus c minus and d minus d minus d minus now in the first line again a is there so i will not write a there so i will write b c d if B is there, so I will not write B. I will write A, C and D. C is there, so I will write A, B and D. I will not write D here, so that means I will write A, B and C. So this entire thing is the Lagrange interpolation formula. I hope it is understood. So this is what we wanted to find. So I have used f of a, f of b, f of c, f of d, and I have found out f of x naught, formula of f of x naught. I have used a, b, c, d, and x naught in the formula. The structure is easy to prepare. If you directly learn the formula like this, it will be very difficult to remember. So I told you the idea of how to remember this formula. It's better if you keep this formula ready in your notebooks. Copy down this formula so that it will be easy for you to go on for the problems. So now we will look upon for a problem based on Lagrange interpolation formula. So look at this example now. So here in this example x is 0 1 2 and 5 y is 2 3 12 and 147 now this is something you uh, I, if I give you an example of this this is uh, I will say uh, this is like our current uh, situation say so at day 0 and day 1 day 2 and day 5 so there is a gap of one there's a gap of one and there's a gap of three so this gap is actually not equal so i have to use here lagrange interpolation formula if the gap is equal i will uh, use some other formula but if the gap is in unequal i must use lagrange interpolation formula so the current situation is something like day zero we are having two patients of uh, COVID-19 say day one I got three patients and then on the second day I got 12 patients say and the fifth day I got 147 patients now we will ask a question that what was the situation after one and a half day means 1.5 so what was the situation after one and a half days how many patients were there after one and a half day so here in if you read this question you will see that y we want to find means number of patients at x naught which is a day at 1.5 day so let us look at the situation now and let us use the Lagrange interpolation formula. Let me erase this the stuff data. So here let me prepare that small table which is x, y is 0, 1, 1.5, 2 and 5. So here I have 2 patients, 3 patients, I don't know how many patients. 12 patients and 147 so this don't know is 
f of x naught which is f of 1.5 y is this as f of x this is f of 1.5 now let me put the formula back let us see what it was telling us this was f of x naught is equal to this particular formula so here in my situation i have f of so x naught is uh, 1.5 so i will have f of x naught which is f of 1.5 is equal to that formula if i recall that formula we will get that first of all i will multiply those numbers 2 3 12 and 147 which was f of a f of b f of c f of d 2 3 12 and 147 then the first in the brackets upstairs i will write if you remember carefully i have written x not minus x not minus so here x not is 1.5 so 1.5 minus 1.5 minus i will write in the numerator of all the four terms now i have not to write so who who is our a b c d in this problem so if you carefully look this is our a this is our b this is our c and this is our d so in the first line i will not write a upstairs means i will write b c d means i will write 1 2 and 5 after 1.5 in the second line is about b so i will not write b I means i will write a c d I means i will write 0 2 and 5 in the third line is about c so i will not write c so i will write 0 1 and 5 to c i will not write the last line is about d d is 5 so i will not write d here i will write 0 1 and 2 now going back to the denominator first line is about look here it is about a a a so it is a minus a minus b minus b minus this is what i will write now so the first term will become 0 minus 0 minus 0 minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus c minus this one d minus was 5 minus 5 minus 5 minus now what should i write after that don't write 0 so write 1 2 and 5 so sorry this is wrong so 1 2 and 5 this is b don't write b here so write a c d write 0 2 5 here i will write accordingly 0 1 and 2 sorry 2 i will not write 5 0 1 and 2 here I will. so now i have to use my calculator subtract them and i look at each bracket orally i will do the subtraction if not i will use my calculator and this entire calculation becomes something like this for example 1.5 minus 1 becomes 0 0.5 and then 1.5 minus 2 becomes minus 0 0.5 this becomes minus 3.5 and i will do this all terms for all the four people simultaneously here in this next step what i have shown you you have to look for two minus signs and cancel the two minus sign because minus minus is plus so two minus signs cancel and make just so a one minus sign remains in the next step also you see i'm cancelling the minus minus signs here minus minus upstairs and downstairs and last me there is no minus there's only one minus so i can do anything 
and I will go for the next step if I shrink the screen a little bit to go for the next thing so hold on a second yes so if I multiply them I will get this answers see that minus 0.8.875 is as it is and that minus 10 is because of that minus sign second term has no minus sign so that is a positive everywhere third term also has no minus sign and fourth term actually has a minus sign so i forgot to write that let me make a small correction there With the minus here so these are the four terms let me again use my calculator and simplify these steps also this uh, calculation uh, in your calculator gives you minus 0 0.17175 positive positive and here it is minus 0 0.91 i'll use my calculator and simplify this to get the 6.125 we are supposed to check all these calculations so what have we done finally after all this calculation we got one number which is 6.125 so this is giving me that f of 1.5 which we were trying to find is equal to 6.125 right so if I go for my table what I was looking for so I can now complete my table that at 0 we had 2 patients, at 1 we had 3 patients, at 2 we have 12 patients and 5th day we have 147 patients and now on the one and a half day I expect that there are approximately 6 patients which is giving the formula is giving us 6.125. So the answer to the question is 6.125. Now. I hope this is understood we will go for one more example so that you will get a much better idea let me look at this problem x is 0 1 2 3 and y is 2 5 8 11 now here the gap is 1 still I am using Lagrange interpolation formula because that is given in the question so I will use Lagrange interpolation formula so at day 0 I had 2 patients, day 1 I had 5 patients, 2 I had 8 patients and 3rd I had 11 patients. How many patients do I expect at this particular 2.5 means 2.5 days, 2.5 days how many patients do I expect. So let us find this using our Lagrange interpolation formula here. Okay, the question marks means the number of patients that are after 2 and half because I want to find f of 2.5 now let us fill this data in a in the table so here i hope it's clear to all of you that 2.5 is going to work as our x0 or x0 so let me write it the x y 0 1 2 2.5 which i'm going to find this is our x0 and this is 3 it's 2 5 8 and i don't know how much and this is 11 this is f of x naught. I know I am going to find that, and this is eleven. So I will use my formula, Lagrange interpolation formula. So f of x naught is equal to f of two point five is equal to the next. I have prepared my structure already, so I know I am supposed to label a, b, c, and d here. So 0, 1, 2, and 3 are my ABCD. And these numbers 2, 5, 8, 11, I'm supposed to use them only once by multiplying here. 2, 5, 8, and 11. Who is my X naught? My X naught is 2.5. So in the first brackets numerators, I have to write 2.5 everywhere. 2.5 minus 2.5 minus 2.5 minus 
all the brackets I will write it I'm writing 2.5 everywhere now here the first line is about a so I will not write a but I will write BCD so I will write here 1 2 and 3 the second line I will not write B so I will write 0 2 and 3 which is A C D and the third line I will not write C so I will write 0 1 and 3 and the next line I will not write D means I will write 0 1 and 2 now for the denominator I will write A minus A minus A minus means I will write 0 minus 0 minus 0 minus 1 minus next is uh, 1 minus 1 minus 1 minus now we have 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 3 minus 3 minus 3 minus next I will not write A in the afterwards now so I will write B C D and I will write 1 2 and 3 here I will not write 1 minus 1 so I can write 1 minus 0 1 minus 2 and 1 minus 3 2 minus 2 I will not write here means I will write 2 minus 0 2 minus 1 2 minus 2 sorry 2 minus 3 3 minus 0 3 minus 1 3 minus 2 so this is all my values I've entered in my formula I will use my calculator now here I forgot to write I think I forgot to write 0 here I'm sorry, one year A. A I should not write it, B C D. So yes, that's done. Now I will simplify this in my calculator to get these numbers as I'm showing in the arrows. And I'll try to look at the minus minus signs. Paired minus signs will become cancel each other and they will become plus. So let me go to the step two carefully. Uh, first thing has one minus sign second has a one minus sign third has actually third term has two minus signs so the minus and minus of the third term will actually cancel each other the fourth term has no minus sign right this is cancelled let's go ahead now this I will further simplify in my calculator and um, let me write that these are negative negative this is positive positive so when I use my calculator and get minus first term is negative second term is negative third term is positive minus minus signs have cancelled so again I have negative negative positive positive answers when I simplify them will be negative negative positive and positive I will add all of them and I will get the final answer to be something like 9.25 so I'm getting 9.25 so what I have let me summarize what have I done so f of 2.5 is equal to 9.25 this is the approximate value of f of 2.5 and when I fill this up in the table that was my original question what was my original question x y x was 0 1 2 3 and 2 5 8 and 11 and I was trying to find the middle person which is f of x and this is what I wanted to find which I have found out as 9.25 so let me fill that the value into the table this is 9.25 so this actually ends the problem in case you have any queries please let me know on whatsapp or you can comment uh, thank you for this lecture